Hello, my little buddies. So, do you want to know when and how do you use has got and have got? Well, then, this is the video for you. But first, let us roll the intro. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my online English class. And if you don't know yet, let me introduce myself. My name is Madam Zeti. How are you guys doing? Hopefully everyone is doing awesome at home. All right, today we are going to learn about two things two very simple things which are has got and have got and we are also going to look at their negative forms so are you guys ready let us begin today's lesson can be found in get smart plus three textbook but if you are not your three students you still can learn from this video so watch until the end First and foremost, let's look at the meaning. In Malay, has and have mean other, and they are used to talk about something that you have or you own. Let us look at the first one, which is has got. So, this one is used for singular subject or satu. So, when you are talking about only one person, you use has got. Let's see some examples. For subjects such as he, she, it, the boy, Anna, or the cat, which each of these shows only one person or one thing or one animal, then we use has got for example she has got blonde hair she has got blonde hair the cat has got a long tail the cat has got a long tail Before we move on to the second one, remember, has got is used for a singular subject or one or satu. Let's look at the second one, have got. So, have got is used with plural subject or a subject that shows more than one thing or one person. For example, have got is used with subjects such as we, they, the boys, Anna and Elsa, and the cats. Those are some examples. But hold on a second. What about I and you. Well, these two personal pronouns are special ones. So, even though I means one person or saya, it always uses the plural form, which is have got. And you can mean one person and it also can mean more than one person but it always uses the plural form have got as well before we proceed to the negative form let us recall has got is for singular subject and have got is for plural subject so basically, has got is used when you talk about satu orang and have got is used when you talk about orang yang ramai or lebih daripada satu. 
And tak semestinya orang. It can be things, benda, or animals. Alright? Now let's look at some sample sentences. The first one. We have got new backpacks. We have got new backpacks. Next one. The boys have got a big house. The boys have got a big house. The negative form for has got and have got is easy. So to turn has got into negative, you just add not like this. Has not got. Or you can shorten it to be like this. Hasn't got. And it is the same for have got. So to turn have got into its negative form, you just add not like this. Have not got. Or you can also shorten it to become like this. Haven't got. Haven't got. Hmm, what do hasn't got and haven't got mean? Well, basically, they are just the opposite of has got and have got. If has got and have got mean ada, which means you own that thing or you have that thing, then hasn't got and haven't got mean ta ada. So you don't have that thing. You don't own that thing. Get it, guys? All right, let's look at some sample sentences. Number one, I haven't got blonde hair. Number two, she hasn't got blue eyes. Number three, the boys haven't got brown hair. And example number four, the dog hasn't got a long tail. Now that you have seen all of the explanation and examples, how about we do some practice? Let's go! For this practice session, all you need to do is just fill in the blanks with has got or have got. So, let's look at number one. I blank blonde hair. I blank blonde hair. What do you think is the answer? Yes, it's have got because I is a special case and it always uses the plural form, which is have got. Good job, everyone. Number two, she blank a new doll. She blank a new doll. What do you think? Yes, because the subject is she, which means only one person, then you use has got. She has got a new doll. Well done! Number three. We blank a lot of homework to do. We blank a lot of homework to do so which one do you think has got or have got yes because the subject is we or kami so it obviously means more than one person so that is why we use have got we have got a lot of homework to do. All right, 
by number four. The boys blank football practice. The boys blank football practice. What do you think? If you say have got, then you are absolutely right. Why? Because the subject is the boys, which means more than one boy. Well done, boys and girls. Oh no, that is all the time that we have today. But hey, if you want more exercises on this topic, you can always go check out online websites. There are tons of exercises for has got and have got. So go and check them out. Good luck and have fun. And with that, we have come to the end of our lesson for today. I hope that this video is helpful for in helping you to understand how and when to use has got and have got. If not, you can always rewind this video and watch it again and again. Alright everyone, so if you do like this video, then give it a thumbs up and also share it around with everyone so that everybody can learn about this topic as well. Alright, so if you don't know yet, I do a lot of English lesson videos on my channel. I will put the link right over here so you can click on it and check out all of my other videos too. And hopefully, they help you in your English learning process. And be the first one to know whenever I upload a new English lesson video on this channel by clicking on the red subscribe button down below and also hit the bell button too to show your love and support. Alright boys and girls, now it's time for me to say goodbye so i leave you right over here until I see you again in my next lesson video. Goodbye and assalamualaikum. Stay home and stay safe everyone. Bye.